Ah, get your bars up, I get it on me, yeah I do, endorse me Whole team pull up in Porsche, we came a long way from them Porsche Get your bars up and get extorted, get your bars up I pulled up, shot his car up Yeah, yeah get your bars up media, man, I appreciate y'all having me, man Salute, salute, salute Ah, <laughs> tell these niggas what up, world? It's your guy, B.A. For Real 100, and welcome to Get Your Bars Up, Media. Salute, salute, salute. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Shout out to everybody that's been rocking. Make sure you hit that like button on the way in. Appreciate you. If this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button, please. It's free, it's free, and the content is dope. But with that being said, Geechee Gotti third round versus Easy to Block Captain. I know, I know a lot of people have been talking about this for the past week or so. But this just may be the most impactful round in battle rap history. I said impactful. Did I say the greatest? I didn't say that. I didn't say the greatest, but the most impactful. And, and you can you can you can coincide impactful with great. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. I haven't seen a round this impactful since 2012. We talking about loaded lux. You're gonna get this work. We talking about that. We talking about Jay-Z requoting. And if I do take it back to that low deluxe third round versus Calico, with the casket, the optics, the everything, the crowd, all of that, you feel me? He even had a choking. He even choked in that battle and was like Harlem Hospital giving bears out. And that was even monumental and quotable, requotable. This Geechee Gotti third round is, I believe, is reached past that. I believe it's reached past that. Past that to the point of. This is in another this is in another part of hip hop. And if you don't think that it's the most impactful, you got to say it's top 3. As low as top 5 possibly. But I th I'm I'm, I'm going to give it more props than that. I'm going to give it more props than that. So many people from so many different demographics are really talking about this. I can go back to Murder Mook, dot on your head, dot on it, dot on this. Dot on this. I can go back to uh I can go back to uh the original a verb hitman holler <laughs> yo big girl that's the way you talk to your son it's a lot of moments i can go back to even past that with with, with reed dollars going old school with the rambo i can go back to all of that there's so many moments in battle rap but this moment right here though this moment has social media going crazy and then i've never seen and I've never heard a full round of battle rap, uh, battle rap round be played, be actually played on the radio. Never heard it. Never heard it till just now. Geechee just did it. Geechee just did it. I've never heard this many bloggers. We because this is the this is the uh, social influencer. This is the this is the uh, the social influencer type era. So it's people even with no credentials, with millions of viewers and followers that are actually playing this round, don't know nothing about battle rap. I call that impact, y'all. That's major impact, actually. You got Geechee going to all of these different platforms. And I know it's the circumstances. People are going to say it's because of circumstance. He was talking about Remy and he was talking about this and, and, and Pat Poos and Black Love, all that. Yeah, that played a part. That plays a huge part in it. But not anybody could have like, what people got to understand is not anybody could have pulled that off. It's a lot of battle rappers that would have got up there and said something similar to what Geechee was saying and it probably would have fell flat. It probably would have fell flat. It was a lot of it's a lot of battlers that would have got nervous and scared on that stage to even face Remy and let her know this is what it is. Salute to the queen. Salute to the queen. But bringing this back to the impactful part of this vlog, Geechee has got battle rap jumping and shouts out to shouts out to Max out. Shout out to Max Out 3. I got to say shout out to ARP Num. Salute to them. Because they, they they just had an incredible, incredible event. 
the event of the year. Everybody was talking about it. Shout out to A Verb too, because A Verb was one of the ones that that was one of the catalysts of keeping the summer on point and keeping everybody engaged. Wanted to actually see, oh, what's going on in the culture? This, that, this, that, this, that. The event, Max Out 3 was so fire, had multiple different battles. They probably had two, three, four rewatchable battles that were like super, well, it was more than that to me. But to the common eye and the common ear, it was probably about three or four battles that were very rewatchable. Replay value off the chain. Crazy, right? When, <laughs> when Geechee starts rapping in his third round, when he starts rapping just in his third round and he gets into his bag, you forget about everything else that happened in the summertime. And battle rap is so, it's such a small, y'all don't understand how small this culture is. It probably seems big because, you know, it's, uh we got so many different leagues all around the country, but it really is not a big, it doesn't have really a big demographic of people. It really doesn't. Not in this country. Maybe if you go to Flip Top over there, yeah, yeah, it's different over there. It's different over there. But here in the States, it's different. It's different. And for people to be still talking about this, like it just happened yesterday, for all of these bloggers, and I've been watching, I've been watching, man. I've been watching because I've been trying to watch uh, uh, as many people as I can because I like to support the, support the culture in general, especially if you got good work. I'm not no hater like a lot of y'all niggas are. They'd be like, man, I, oh, shit, this nigga got 30,000, 50,000 views. I can't fuck with it. I'm not on that shit because I'm not about y'all and, and, and hating. Hating on niggas don't get me nowhere. They don't do nothing for me. It's not lucrative, lucrative at all. Therefore, I've been watching a lot of people. Been watching a lot of people. I've been watching a lot of people actually go out and and uh, and, and talk about this constantly. And, and I'm looking at numbers and I'm seeing numbers go crazy. People, bro, people are really making money off of this as well. A lot of people. A lot of people. A lot of people that's not even in battle rap. A lot of people, y'all not hearing me. The bloggers are making money. If they're not making money and you're a new blogger in the game, you probably just got monetized or you probably might get monetized if you actually have uh, 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 dope content and you got dope commentary. I've been watching a lot of channels grow. Salute to everybody that's growing within this. And I've been watching. I've been watching the bigger channel super uh, 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 really flourish as well. So. Bringing it back to that third round, this has been big time for the culture of battle rap. This right here, like I said, this might be, this just might be the most impactful moment. It's so many moments in battle rap. It's for so many battles in battle rap. Battle rap is so oversaturated that usually at this moment, the way that it is now, if you've been in a culture like myself for a long time, for a minute, then you know that. Battles come and go. You can have a classic, and then in four or five days, we on to something new. Or three or four days, we on to something new. We thinking about a whole nother car. We thinking about we thinking about this drama that's going over here. We thinking about blog awards. We thinking about all this other stuff. But no, right now, though, we still talking about this third round. We not even... Remember how, like, usually, like, when when a battle was close, people would be like, yo, this battle was super close. This is this is what's going on. Uh, the second, third, fourth. No, we're not even trying to debate. The debate part is over. We just, this is so many people still infatuated with this third. And then the thing that's crazy, too, is these other blogging sites and these other non-battle rap blogging sites who are picking it up, these syndicated radio shows that are picking it up. They making it look even bigger. They putting a mag they put a magnifying glass on that. When has this ever happened in battle rap? Y'all tell me. Y'all tell me when has this ever happened in battle rap? I've never seen this before. This is a different type of energy, y'all. This is a different type of energy. And I've been doing this for a minute. You can scroll through my shit. Over a thousand videos. But I like it though. I like it. I like the energy. I like the energy. What I will say is hopefully Geechee keeps it up. 
hopefully this wasn't just a i'm just gonna go crazy here and then the next battle that i have at this kotd joint i'm just gonna be like yo it is what it is because i'm watching blackout too and i know that's gonna be crazy i know blackout gonna be crazy kotd king of the dot i know it's gonna be crazy so hopefully he continues the he continues the uh the the hunger and the and the anger and all of that i need that i need that not just me the people need that we trying to see everything. We trying to hear everything. We trying to we 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 looking for serial battle rap serial killers. That's what we looking for. We looking for battle rap serial killers. Go on them streaks. Don't give a f. Period. Straight like that. But with that being said, um, I just want to know y'all opinions. Is this is this one of the most inf- is this the most impactful round? And if there are more impactful rounds in the history of battle rap, put them in that comment section. Let me know. And also, um, is this one of the is 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 um is if this is not the impactful, the most impactful round in battle rap history to you, then name me, name me a few that you'll put over it. You feel me? Objectively speaking, objectively speaking. But to me, if it's not number one, it gotta be top three. I, and I've been in this culture a long time and I've been watching a lot of different things, and I've never seen it reach out like this, and I've never seen it. Like this is still burning. The fire is still burning. And it's been a week. It's still burning. These days, the fires, the, the fires burn out after a couple of days. People talk about it and they get over it and they move on. But no, I got it's it's, it's bro. My my home my homeboy's mom, right? My homie's mom. Salute to the queen. I, I'm not gonna say their name. My homie's mom was uh was was uh was, was chopping it up and was like, she spoke up, she was like. What's going on with this Remy situation? <laughs> Black love, you know? Da, 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 da. Uh, the Geechee Gotti, like she's naming it. What? And we talk about somebody that's in their 60s. So that's all I got to say. That's how impactful this was. So many people are talking about this. You talking about a viral moment. This is definitely viral. And it's been millions. It's been, it's been millions of views all over the, uh, all over the place talking about this specifically. But anyways, I got to get up out of here because I'm talking too much. But like I said, fire third round, one of the most impactful in history, maybe the most impactful in history for what it's doing for the culture for this for this seven days and what it might do going further. Hopefully, hopefully the momentum stays up. Hopefully we have somebody else that steps up, talk they ish and does all of that and keeps this flame going because we need this flame in battle rap. Battle rap was dying before this year. It was dying. This whole particular year, the game has changed. Other leagues have stepped up into the fold. Battlers are battlers are actually are starting to get hungry again. They're not getting fat and full thinking about, yeah, I just need to get this bag and move on. Now niggas is trying to win. Now niggas is trying to win. Now niggas is trying to create moments. Let's get it. Hopefully this doesn't hurt the culture. And hopefully it helps the culture. Anyways, this your guy BA for real 100. This is Get Your Bars Up Media. If this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button. You rock with me, I rock with you. And if you out there hating just because you think I'm a new guy and you just not stumbled upon my channel and I've been doing this for a minute, then all I can truly say is thank you for coming. Get your bars up. Salute, subscribe, all that good stuff. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this uh, in the comment section. And until the next time, uh, peace and love. Salute. Yeah. Yeah, get your bars up, I get it on me, yeah I do, endorse me, whole team pull up in Porsche, we came a long way from them Porsche, get your bars up and get extorted, get your bars up, I pulled up, shot his car up, yeah. Hey, uh, get your bars up, media, man, I appreciate y'all having me, man, salute, 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 ah, <laughs> tell these niggas.